Not on the same table, are we? No, we're playing musical chairs, apparently. It's just been new tables. What a laugh that was in the end. Good. Oh, has it been okay? Or... No, it's been good, good. Good, good. Good, right. Good. You're going to have a first look of sorts of um, where... Whatever you like to call it, it's huge. And then it leads on There's straight into... the lights about and all. I don't know if they're, they're all working and things. Um, Words won't ever describe that. Right, we're off for a meal. So, just loading up some bits and bobs. I need to get something out of the car. Go and pick Lee up and into we're town. Going out for a meal. Apparently, Sandra's mum's not too good, so she stayed at the hotel, but Sandra's joining us. Are you looking forward to it, Lee? Yeah. And where are we going to? An Italian restaurant, I think. Yeah, called the Olive. And you're going to have a, a real Italian pizza, not a frozen one from Iceland. Probably. Oh, yeah. So, with these Italian pizzas, the real ones, you've got to eat all the crust. You can't just leave all half your crust behind. Yeah? So, is that all right? It depends what the crust is like. Oh, it's proper. It's, it's, it's Italian. That's what it's like, Lee. It's Italian. Right. We're very close. And apparently, Sandra's just got here. So, I'll be well to do that. I think I'm going to have a, a pint of Peroni, Lee. A pint of Peroni. Every time I come out with Sandra, there's always a drama. No, nobody's got any idea what it's like. They've no idea, have they, Lee? They've got no idea what's happened, have they? Right. So we have been here before. And um, just going to have some mixed olives to start off with. Lee's having a ham yeah. pizza. I'm going to have a Benin Polo. What do you say you're having, Sandra? Ravioli. And, um, a bottle of, what are you doing? Getting a needle. We're in, we're in a restaurant and Sandra has dropped in. Why can't you drop a needle? My emergency needle. Why have you got a needle? Because every time I come and see you when you can't be going, oh, can you fix that? Can you mend that? You've got to be me on my new coat under my armpit. It's, it's, it's ribs, it's only, it's, it's only you. How's Hello. Your, how's your mother? Resting. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. And what, what happened? Yeah. She needs to rest a lot. Okay, right. Anyway, what I thought I'd do, I thought so I'd be romantic. I'm going to take something back for her. I'm going to be romantic. Here's a wedding anniversary card for you, Sandra. Open on the 24th because we won't be together. I've got no idea how lucky you are to have me, such a romantic husband. Um, but you didn't film me giving you yours. What? 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 say what like that. I'm, last time we met, you got. An anniversary card, a birthday card, and a birthday present. Did you say thank you? No, because it's not my birthday, it's not my anniversary, and why would we say thank you when it's not happened? It's in, it's in the future. At the moment, I'm living for the moment. I'm living at the moment for the moment. I give up. You give up. And we're starting with some hot bread and some lovely olives. My life, my life is just one big drama. Right, Sandra. Hello, Neil. Are we still in the same restaurant? I believe so. <laughs> but we're not on the same table, are we? No, we're playing musical chairs, apparently. <laughs> it's just been new tables. And, and, it's a surprise party. The surprise is there's more of them than all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or not. Um, so there's a surprise party behind us and the guy just turned around and said the surprise was there's was more of them than we were expecting. When the phones are broke, they were expecting 25, so I'm guessing more than that. <laughs> but, so we moved table. <laughs> And all three of us, well, Lee copied me and I copied you, all three of us, as we moved table. Why did we, why did we, we picked up our serviettes and knives and forks as if we're on somewhere for a... Well, I don't for think it's before the olives, so... Whoa, Lee, that's a proper, proper, oh. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a prop, 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 proper one. Cheers, thank you. Mozzarella. Proper mozzarella. Are you having a problem, mate? <laughs> one of the. Oh, I, so nice I can't there. explain what a laugh that was in the end. I mean, absolutely. Um, it, it was a faulty towers moment, moving tables, and then Sandra picked up her knife, fork, and serviette. So did I. So did Lee. Decanted to another table. <laughs> and and no, absolutely amazing place. That's the olive um, skegness. The, the food was outstanding as usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, 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 really good. But, um, and what a laugh at the end. Uh, yeah, right, Sandra. We're going to be seeing you in the morning. No, afternoon. Afternoon now. Yeah. Um, so as you're watching this, all being well, we're going to be following with your, you lovelies. They're lovelies. They're not brothers or sisters. With your lovelies, you can have a look at our property that we're buying. We hope. 48 hours to go. It's another beautiful, cold, misty morning here at the nurseries. All the time that I've been at the nurseries, I've never given Rasha a first walk with somebody. And I'm joined this morning by Lee. There's still a bit of ice on the water. Um, so Lee and Rasha were very, very close, weren't you? Rasha was sort of Lee's dog when, um, when Lee was younger. Very, very much. So, so even when we're back at home, Rasha barks at all the other kids, but she doesn't bark with Lee for some reason. So as we're recording this, we're on a pretty, now, important day. Our house buyer is doing a pre-completion inspection. And I'm confident that's going to go okay. But obviously, it might not go okay, and for whatever reason, he could still pull which is really, really, really not going to happen. It's going walking up to the end there. Yeah, let's put this, this in. Um, so we're a bit, we're a bit jittery, and I'm not sure whether we're going to get any news today on how that goes. But if it goes to plan, I thought we were going to exchange contracts tomorrow, but it turns out it's not. It's the day after. So 48 hours, all being well, and a lot of pressure will be alleviated. I'm going to keep watching this because this afternoon before Sandra, Barbara and Lee depart back to Manchester we are um, oh, lots of seagulls. We are going to view the property that we're buying and we are going to take you with us. You can have a, a first little look inside. You've had a look, proper look outside now haven't you? Did, did, yeah. did you like it? Sorry, you know, yeah. camera. Is it alright? Yeah. yeah. So we've got a few plans and everything and we know there's work needs doing um as i say the electrician's going to be the first job so wallpaper is going to be coming off we're going to need to get plastering done and then done but over the next six months going into autumn stroke christmas when i've finished my season we're hoping it's going to be nice and sorted uh and then Coming forward, Lee. We, we, Lee, we need to give you a. We need to give Lee, not the campsite warden's son, but Lee, the driver's mate, isn't it? So Lee, the driver's mate. He's going to be the driver's mate this weekend as we move all our belongings over here. Or most of them. The lake is slowly subsiding. Not a great deal, but slowly subsiding. Um, it's a beautiful day, Lee, isn't it? it never, it never rains here, you know, Lee. The only time it rains is on, is on bin day. So what do you think of the nurseries? I like it. You like it? Yeah. And you enjoy staying in the pod? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've had a proper start to a, a new link of your life. I'm yeah. sure everybody out there is going to wish you well. We'll get Rasha back in the caravan. I've got, um, I've got a, busy, well, a fairly busy morning. Right, Rasha. You know you walk with Lee? Yeah, Go on then. It's a ride to the nursery, so is it? It is I. Never rains here, you know, Sandra. It's Always blue sky. Beautiful. So a lovely drive out with my mum just to show her a bit more about more of the area. Yeah, so. 
It's really nice. So. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, we need to give uh, a thank you for somebody who sent a super thanks. We do. Hello, Peter. Peter Webster, are you out there? Peter, um, I've still not got your sticker yet, but as soon as it comes, I'll let you know. But thanks <laughs> thanks for sending a super thanks. So we're a bit in the shadows there, right? Let's come into the sunshine. So Sandra's not seen the campsite since um, cause the last time you were here. We had my lovely grass pitch. We had manicured lawns and the rasher tree and everything. Garage. The garage is no longer here and no, things like that. So let's take you. Let's take you up to my old pitch. You can see the rasher tree. Come on, you're coming up, Lee. So Sandra's mum's in the car. Barbara, we'll, go, we'll, we'll get a quick hello to Barbara, and then we're um, we've got a view in this afternoon, haven't we? A half two, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we'll be well, and our place is being viewed at two. So, so, so check the heating set up at home for our place and it was down to about 11 degrees this morning so I've clicked the heating on for the morning so it's not cold when you go around. So I don't know if you noticed yesterday when we went to go and look at our bungalow the heating was on. So um, the pod's gone. Yeah. Beautiful grass pitch where Hannah stayed. <laughs> and Barbara have met JP and Sammy and Raven and they're right good 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 gas didn't they? Yeah. Oh, let me Charlie. And we've got about another ten minutes. And we're heading down to um to the bungalow, and then you're going to be departing. Yeah. You had a good few days. Yeah. Never been round here or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Has it been good? Good? Or has it been okay? Or uh, it's been good. 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 We like good. Good. All right. Let's have a sit down for five. Have a slip of some water. Right. You're going to have a first look of sorts of where we should be buying so we've got a really big 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 long drive down here you can get one two about five cars down here we've got twin garages we've got a massive area here where we're going to put a touring caravan maybe even a motorhome who knows um and then this door here into the twin garage is electric and that's an up and over. I'm not going to show you the exact front of the place. So if the camera's going to go off for a moment. On. Again, I'm not going to show you exactly where we are. We've got a massive garden. It's about a quarter of an acre in total. And this is not going to do it justice. So there's an abundance of things coming up. And it's a complete wrap around down here so this is all south facing where we are now huge amount of land now we've got a really big conservatory that's got a washing machine in there and it's greenhouse we've got another grass area all backs on to um, some land so we've got a mature hedging down it and again this at the moment this has got oil heating so we might put um we've mentioned about putting a, a different kind of heating in back bedroom spare bedroom this is the door into the twin garages coal shed um compost bin and this is um north facing so this doesn't get much light but i've got some ideas and what we might do with this bit of land at the moment that's just sort of got um, not a lot going on on it but the nice thing if you noticed um, it's got the concrete and the block paving hasn't got any weeds growing on it or anything like that the guttering the soffits and everything are quite new the garage really unusually is glazed so I'm just coming around the back of the property now um, which is quite unusual uh, and back down to the front. Again, I'm not going to. I'm just trying to be not too. too oh, right, yeah. That's an unusual way of parking. So, right, Sandra's park. Not quite like I thought she was going to park, but she's on. The, she's hit the grass. Oh, God, creep. She's run over the daffodils. 
Well, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight cars here. I can't believe you've run over the daffodil. What have you done? Sorry, no. oh, living room. Um, so we've got a three-piece suite, which is new, or fairly new. We're going to probably open this up and put a log burner in here. So um, the carpets are all okay. The light fittings are all okay. But the electrics all need changing so everything works. Um, and as I say, once the rewire is done, obviously these are all going to have to be pulled down. And the wallpaper is going to need to come off and everything be plastic. But that's a quick look at our living room. That's okay, Lee. Happy with that? So again, with the um, electrics they're going to need doing, obviously, there's going to be plastering and stuff. Um, so this will be Vina Sandra's room. And it's got the... Glass wardrobes, which are a little bit dated, but they're fine with loads of storage space in them. And so they're okay, Lee. Yeah, live with that. And it's going to take several months to make this hours. Oh, turns it. And there's got the TV oh, points and stuff in. Right. <laughs> in inverted commas. So there's the outside. This is going to be Barbara's room. Uh, again, everything's going to be decorated. All the electrics need doing. So the bedroom units are a little bit dated. But we can live with them. So we're ready to move in. Plenty of space. Up and over. Can that work? Probably not plugged in. Um, well, that can be changed at a later stage. But Barbara wants it all decorating to her colours. Coming down a very long hall, so there is a banister for Barbara all the way down. We'll go in there in a moment. That's an insurance job. And this is in inverted commas is a spare bedroom. Um, and this actually looks out into the back. On this side, this was full of stuff last time. So we may put a bed in here or a futon, or it may become like a Barbara's additional room or somewhere where Lee may end up being. As you go, but again, all these rewire, all these new plugs. So Lee, this actual uh, uh, lock on the door. Um, but no, it's okay to move in with. It's clean, tidy, carpets are all okay. Not being in the attic, so it's all fully insulated and everything. That's yeah, it's a proper double, double locks on the doors, Lee. Okay, so da, 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 da. Um, we've got a bath, so it was a must have, really, to have a bath. And lots of properties we looked at didn't have baths. Um, and it's got a grab handle for the toilet, for Barbara and everything like that. Sink, the just come in one second, Lee, I'll okay, come out. And then the boiler, um, water tank is in here. So the bathroom is fairly new. Right, so this needs decorating. Um, again, because of the rewire, look at these old sockets here. So we've got a really big, 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 big breakfast room, dining room, whatever you like to call it, it's huge. And then it leads on straight into a fairly newish fitted kitchen with everything. Um, oh, we've been, oh, got the, got the dates for the pin collections. Um, and it's a halogen hob. There's no gas around here. And then one of the things that we were looking for, for Barbara, needed a walk-in shower. And trying to find somewhere that would accommodate all of us with Barbara's needs. Look at this, what we've got. Um, where's the... 
Do, 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 do. So we have got a great big walk-in shower. Um, so we may need to bring this down height-wise for Barbara, because if she's on a stool or whatever. Um, but a bit of mold there needs to clean a bit of bleach on it. And then this door that I've got here, which is quite big and bulky, we may end up with a cantilever door or even a screen on it, um, which will just give more space. So instead of having a, a dunk, but a, a slider along the door or something, which will go on. Got a cupboard here, which has got lots of space. I can't open that at the moment. Um, and I'm not too sure what all the keys are, but everything's been left out for us. Bedside doors, paperwork, um, and everything. And then we've asked them to leave. It's a bit old fashioned, but we've got quite a big dining table. I don't know if that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't mind yeah, I think I don't know if that opens or not, but um, not yeah. Remember at my age, that's not old-fashioned. No. <laughs> uh, like the no, it's all modern. And then it's got floor tiles on the floor. So they need either lifting up and replacing. Oh, Sandra's, Sandra's got a... Yeah, the Italian unit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not as long as that. Yeah, we'll see in a moment. I need to go because every time I video, it goes. And that's the works phone. So I'm doing it through there and then through here, Lee. And then we've got... Oh, hang on a minute, is there a key? Is there a key? We've got a key. I don't know if they've got a key or not. No, we'll see. It feels smaller than our living room. It's but, actually bigger. Right, but it's because ours is knocked through, isn't it? That's why. Lee's, Lee, Lee's been on this. He had a go. You like, you like that? <laughs> do you want to confess to people what, what not, happened? Not on camera, but... What? Hang on. Do we need to turn the camera off? Please. Oh, bang up, Barbara. Are you okay? You're in the corner. Um, so, conservatory. So, this unit here um, has got a washing machine in it, but we'll be putting a dryer and a dishwasher in here. And at the moment, for central heating people. So, we've got the oil fired heating at the moment, and this has been serviced and is reliable, we're told. Um, uh, obviously this is the controllers <clears throat> I'm not, I better not lift this up it's not ours yet is it um, so we're contemplating on putting a heat source system in and then the blinds I mean, we've got the rails but the blinds are missing but we can buy those Looking under into a man cave. Uh, so our electrician is going to be replacing all of the boxes here. That's just one of the telephone in here, and you got the out into the back. He's locked at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. We've got man things, Lee. Man things. Yeah, so, so it's got a, a up and over door, electric door, there's, there's a hand crank there. There's loads of lights about and all. I don't know that they're all working and things. Um, and they say it's glazed, which is super unusual. I'm assuming that's the main power into the whole building, isn't it? And then that's going to feed in, feed in. So yeah man cave lee man cave got a party in here can't we yeah we're not over the wire we've got to kick the we've got a bit more football to play a bit more horse racing to go what painfully close we hope isn't it right don't want to say goodbye sandra wish us luck we need it <laughs> So all being well, you'll be seeing Sandra in a few days' time um, because whatever happens, we've got put our property into storage 
Um, so there's going to be another fleeing visit in five, six days' time, less than a week. Da, 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 da. And there will be some clips from Barbara and her mum in a wool shop or something coming up in a day or two. And I'm sure Sandra will do a bit more as the house empties back in Manchester. Look after yourselves, everybody. Mm-hmm.